Question number eight. Uh, the cash price of a gas cooker is Kenya shilling 20,000. A customer bought the cooker on a higher purchase terms by paying a deposit of 10,000 Kenyan shillings followed by 18 equal monthly installment of Kenya shillings 900 each. Annual interest compounded quarterly was charged on the balance for the period of 18 months. Determine uh, collect one decimal place the rate of interest per annum. Uh, so this question is from the topic commercial arithmetic which you did in form 3 and uh, we can say we use this formula to to get the amount paid on compound interest that is a amount is equals to principal into bracket 1 r divided by 100 uh, r is the, ra the rate of interest and n represents the the number of uh, times or number of years uh, or, or intervals at which the loan will be uh, paid. So if the ca cash price was 20,000, uh, the customer paid 10, uh, which uh, remained 10,000 balance. So see, this was what was taken or what uh, the interest was calculated on. Uh, the, the customer paid, an, um, uh, paid uh, so we, we can say amount paid, paid on monthly installment is equals to the customer was paying 900 times 18 months. So this total up uh, using a calculator, you say you get 16,200. So you can see the 10,000 that the customer paid uh, on under uh, monthly installment attracted uh, an interest of 6,200 Kenyan shillings. So how do we now get the rate at which this amount was charged? So we are going to use 16, so we can see, come, here, come here and say A amount is equal to 16,200. That was what was paid. Uh, we, we take principal is equal to 10,000. That was what was loaned or the amount to be that was a balance from the the amount the, the ten thousand that was paid. Uh, now you can see here uh, it was compounded quarterly. So for eighteen months you say uh, we have eighteen months uh, quarterly it means there are there are how many? Quarterly means uh, three months. So how many trains are there? They are six. So we uh, take our n is equals to six. What about our r? Because it was compounded quarterly, our r, or rather, we will say we use uh, our our r will be r divided by uh, four. So that is the formula that we are going to use. So you say. <laughs> 16,200 that is the amount is equals to principal was 10,000 uh, you put in the bracket 1 plus now instead of this r because it was compounded quarterly we say it is r over 4 or this over 100 and the now instead of 18 months we are going to say u6 because it was compounded quarterly now when you get there you can take 10,000 to the other side. So you say 1 plus R over 4 over 100, or this over 100, this is raised to power 6 is equals to, you divide 16,000 by, that is 16,200, you divide by 10,000. So you say, uh, so you'll be able to get, this is 1 uh, plus, R divided by 4, uh, you can put that to power 6, uh, let's correct that, uh, let's correct this, we have our R, or we can still use, uh, instead of 4, you can say 0 0.25 R, that is the same as a quarter R over 100, it is the same, so 6, <coughs> so this is equals to uh, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, it is 
so you you get the sixth root uh, you say 1 plus 0 0.25 over 100 is equals to the sixth root uh, of the sixth root of 1.62 uh, you can get that the sixth root so we come here and say uh, 0 0.25 r divided by 100 is equals to the the six the six the, the six how do you do that using your calculator you say uh, you just say it is the same as 1.62 raised to power a uh, 1 over 6 so you come here and say you write 1.62 you press the button for raised you can use a bracket and you say 1 divided by 6 as a fraction and you close a bracket that should give you uh, 1.08 uh, can say 8 uh, 84 to, to three decimal places this one we take it to the other side it becomes minus one so this is a so you can say this is a r is equals to this will be 0 0.084 you multiply by 100 and you divide by 0 0.25 so that will give you r so you will if you do that you minus one from uh, that you'll be able to get 0 0.084 you multiply by 100 you get uh, 8.37 uh, 372 you divide by 0 0.25 you can do that using your calculator you'll be able to get that uh, 3.49 uh, but because you are working to one decimal place we say that the three uh, th that is percent at 3.5 so the rate of interest at which this amount was charged that is 10,000 is at 3.5 uh, percent and that is how you uh, you can shorten these steps uh, if you are able to use your calculator uh, properly uh, but I have used that wrong method so that you can be able to follow how you solve that question